What is up guys? So today is pull day. The plan of action is to go do deadlifts to start with again. Last week I went and did 5 sets of 10 with 60 kilos. This week I want to go 5 sets of 10 with 65. And you can see where I'll be going in the coming weeks regarding deadlifts. But I just want to make sure that I'm getting my form right. I'm using a slow and controlled movement and I'm just building up my confidence back with the deadlifts because truth be told I have been scared of doing them in the past as I said in my previous video um, but I really want to get back into them and start getting back into the weights um, on the bar as well. But first let's have breakfast and let's have my typical breakfast which is the omelette with spinach but this time I've got the baby kale and ruby red chard thing to do with it instead and then I'm going to have my typical 100 grams of oats. Now I'd also like to get a haircut today, so I'm going to call up the hairdressers. What I want is a grade, I usually get grade 2 at the sides and back, and as soon as it's starting to touch the ears, I feel as though that's getting too long, and which is doing now, to be honest. So I'm going to go ask them for grade 2 at the sides and back, and I like having it longer on top, and this sort of natural, I don't know, flop? I don't know how the, how, what the term is, but this natural sort of fold of hair over the top. I'm not going bald, it's just the way I like to wear my hair. Um, but this time, I want to go have a more defined look between the sides and the top. I've always used to blend it, um, so it used to sort of look quite natural over the top. But this time, I want a more defined look just to see how that looks on my just see how it looks on my head, really. Good morning. Thank you for calling Ward Headmasters. Jade speaking. How can I help? It's two o'clock. Okay. Yeah, two o'clock is fine. Thank you. Right, so I'm going to be heading off to the hairdressers pretty soon. Does anyone else find it a bit scary when you're sitting in the hairdresser's seat? Because they're stood behind you with scissors and a comb probably. But they've got so much power. Like if they just accidentally sneeze or something, they could chop a little bit of hair off. Which would just look ridiculous. And then you've still got to do the awkward little, oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, I like it. When they show, have the mirror behind you and they show you the back and the sides or whatever. Even if you're not 100% keen on it, you're like, yep. Yep, that's good, thank you. And then it's all good, but yeah, it's quite, don't, I don't know if it, the scary is the right word, but it's quite, I don't know. It's a nervous time, that's what it is. It's a nervous time. So this is the haircut we have. Um, it is, as you can hopefully see, just there, much shorter between this, or shorter at the sides, and it comes higher up giving a more defined look at the sides, which is what I was after. And then we got just some of the weight taken off on top, because I feel as though it gets quite clumpy up there, so I just wanted some of that. And then we got shorter the side over there and then the back as well, which I can't show you because I don't think I'll be able to film behind me, then it'll look weird. But yeah, that's the hair cards we have now. Right, so it's chest day today. Last time I did chest, I on the bench I did 48 kilos for four sets of eight and now I want to go in and do 50 kilos for four sets of eight um, Just because I want to gradually increase it. I know I can do 50 because 48 went pretty well So I'm just gonna see how it goes today And the reason why I've switched over to bench in the last couple of weeks is because I was struggling on the dumbbell side I wasn't able to lift the weight that I know I could have done So I'm just changing things up a bit going into bench and I guess see how things go over the next month 
the bench is something that I've neglected really because I've always been not I guess scared of doing it without someone spotting me because what if I've got a weight which I know I can do for eight reps or something but I only managed to knock six out and I can't get the rep uh, the weight back up I don't have anyone there behind me to help me get it up so I'm just going in low and just building up my confidence gradually building up my strength and hopefully seeing some strength improvements I'll be able to handle it myself <laughs> So I was meant to go for four sets of eight with 50 kilos, but instead I went for five sets because I was feeling good and I felt as though I could push out another set of eight, which is quite pleasing actually. I was really, really pleased with myself afterwards because it shows that I can possibly up the weight even further and complete five sets of eight. So maybe next time I might go up to about 52 kilos and try and do four sets if I can get out of fifth, then fantastic. So that's where I'm going to end today's video. If you have liked it, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and check out my other social media links for regular updates and information about when I post videos and little photos that I might post up on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever. If there's one thing that you can take away from this video, even if you are a beginner, start off low, get your form right and in the long run that's going to help you considerably. Anyway, I'm going to be quiet now and I'll let you to leave you to it. Have a good weekend and I'll catch you in the next one.